Chapter 13, question 17, is asking you to draw the Fisher projection for d xylitol produced when d xylose is reduced. Now, one thing that's going to help us is just seeing this ol there. That's the suffix for an alcohol. And so that's a hint that that's what we're going to end up with when we do this reaction. They give us d xylose. They tell us what that looks like here. And they tell us that it's reduced. That's a very key word. When something's reduced, you reduce the number of bonds to oxygen. So usually, in, uh, in th this will be the, the oxygen that has the double bond, most of this, pro uh, this molecule, that as we do this, is not going to change. So almost the entire thing, really, won't change. That's all good as is. It stays exactly the same from the beginning of the problem to the end. What we're concerned about are these two atoms right here. That's what we're going to have to change just a little bit. So when you reduce, you remove the bonds to oxygen and you replace them with bonds to hydrogen. So right now there's a double bond to oxygen here. I'm going to erase that. Now there's only a single bond. And both the oxygen and carbon now are missing a bond. So you replace that bond that it used to have to a bond to hydrogen. And there you have it reduced. You started with an aldehyde, carbon double bonded to oxygen, single bonded to hydrogen. And you end up with an alcohol here. So all we did was we erased the second bond between the carbon and oxygen. And we added a single bond to hydrogen to the oxygen and a single bond to hydrogen to the carbon. That reduced that carbon.